I click on the smart power strip in the app and click the top button for switch one, there you go, it turns on, turns off. Simple as that to use. Hi there, today we're unboxing a smart power strip. So this particular one is by Jamato. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes nicely packaged here with the image of the actual power strip. Three sockets on there and six USB points. Okay, so if I turn it around here, you can see working current max 10 amps. So you do have to be careful with devices like this because if you have anything rated higher, for example, like an oil radiator, which uses a large amount of wattage on there and current, you may run into issues, so do be careful. So low rated items are fine. So Wi-Fi support wise, it's 2.4G Wi-Fi on there and it supports Android and iOS and supports Amazon Alexa and the Google Assistant and IFTTT. The app it uses is Smart Life, so quite pleased to try this one out as that's the main app I'm using. Some additional details there, so voice control, remote control, set a schedule, and what I've already mentioned. And that's it. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So initially you've got a smart plug instruction user manual. If I open that up, details all in English. Looks pretty straightforward to set up. Okay, the next thing is the actual smart power strip. So in terms of cable, you get one and a half meters on there and it's a fused plug on the end. So UK standard here, so which is good. Okay, in terms of actual size of the power strip, if I bring my ruler in, we've got seven and a half centimeters, just a little bit below that, and around 29 and a half there, and the actual thickness is around three centimeters. So a good compact size to it. Single button on there for turning the device on and off, and obviously probably turns on all the switches here and turns them off at the same time. Also, these buttons are generally used for resetting the device as well, so you can pair to your Wi-Fi. Okay, so no individual switches, just to note, and no individual control. You'd actually use your app to control this, or you could do it via the Amazon Alexa or the Google Home. Okay, build quality is good. Tough plastic all the way around, and just show there, and a few details here on the back. So if I bring that around, just show you some details already mentioned, but one additional one is the actual USB output. So five volts, DC 2.1 amps total. So we can test that out later on. You've got some rubber pads on the bottom as well. So avoids it slipping on a wooden floor. So it does move slightly, but not as much as it would do if you didn't have it. So there you go. Build quality seems good and a nice cool design to it. Okay, so let's make a start at setting up this smart power strip. So quite straightforward, I've got my Android phone here. Let's go to the Play Store and we want to search for Smart Life. So this is the app you want to go for and let me just click install. Okay, so now the app's installed, let's click open. And next, what you want to do if you haven't already done so is register an account. So I've already got an account with Smart Life. So let me log in with my details off camera. Okay, so I've entered my details. Let me click login. And this is what we're initially presented with. So if you look down below, I'm using other devices. And these are all the devices I have. So if I go back to the top, if you haven't used this before, this area will just be empty. So initially, let's click plus and we want to click electrical outlet and next we want to power on device and confirm the lights black rapidly blinking so if i plug it in here at the side and the light should be in this area and it's a very subtle light here doesn't look like it is rapidly blinking so if i just hold on to that button for around five seconds till it clicks okay and now i can see a subtle blue light flashing away Okay, so next, if I click the button here, and next I have to enter in my Wi-Fi password, so let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered my Wi-Fi password, so let's click confirm, and let's give it a moment to connect.
and there you go, it's added as quick as that. So that's what it's called at the moment, Smart Power Strip. And if I click Completed, and we've gone into the app. So let me come out a second and just show how it's visible on the opening home screen. So there you go, Smart Power Strip, and it's online. If I click it, you've got a power button at the top, and if I click that, turns it off, and then turns it on. Okay, so it's showing that all the sockets are on, and if I scroll down, you've got an indicator indicating for the USB. So if I turn the lights off to give you a better view of the lights on there, so you can see some little red dots indicating it's on. Okay, so if I click, for instance, the first one, I'll turn it off, turn it off, and then finally, turn that one on. So for each one, you can rename it to a name you prefer. So we'll just leave it on the defaults for now. And then up here, you've got a schedule option. So you can schedule each switch to come on and off at certain intervals. So very simple. I've shown this before with other apps. Just pick your time, say when you want it to occur, and the action to happen, so on or off. So very straightforward. Let's go back from there. So obviously, this is available for, for all the switches. So these three switches, and this is regarded as one switch. These USB points aren't individually um, powered, so meaning you don't have a button for each one. Okay, let's come out. Okay, so next, if I click in the corner here, we have the three dots, some basic details. So device name, you can rename it here. You've got device location, you've got check device network, supported third-party control, so all this is supported. Okay, then you can share a device with another member of your family or even a friend. Create a group, so you can group multiple switches together. So if you do an action, they'll all turn on at the same time. Device information, that will have IP address and MAC address details, feedback. And then you've got check for firmware upgrades and remove device, and that's it. As simple as that, no other options on there and very straightforward to set up. Okay, so next, let me show the smart power strip in action. So I've got a plug plugged into one of the sockets, and if we follow that around, that actually is connected to a light that's just up here. So if I click on the smart power strip in the app, and click the top button for switch one, there you go, it turns on, turns off. Simple as that to use. The top one obviously turns all of them on, and if I click it again, turns all of them off. So as simple as that. Now next, if I drop down here and turn off my Wi-Fi, let it connect over 4G. Let's go this way, go back in, and click on. There you go. And you see the responsiveness as well. There's hardly any delay on that. So very impressive bit of functionality and remote connectivity as well. So no ports to open as usual with Smart Life on your router. Just work straight out the blocks with cloud-based connectivity. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to set up the Smart Power Strip with the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home. So I've got my devices set up here. So let's begin with the Amazon Alexa. So very straightforward, I've shown this before, but I'll show it again. So I'll quickly go into Amazon Alexa app. Let's click here in the corner. Go to skills and games and search for smart life. And that's the skill you want to enable. So let me click on that. Enable to use. Okay, so next I'm going to enter in my account details for the smart life app. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my account details. Let me click link now. Okay, so if you're presented with this, just select smart life. Click link now and you just want to click authorize and there you go it's been successfully linked so now if I click here on the X and let it discover devices let's give it a moment to do that okay there you go 39 devices uh, discovered and that's because I've got other devices as I've already shown so if I click here on devices we click on plugs and it's this one here so it's smart power strip so if I click on that click the button there and there you go it turns on and turns off 
So, as you can see, there's only one switch available which switches them all on or all off. So, you can't individually control these switches from the Amazon Alexa. A bit disappointing, it would have been nice if you could individually do it. So if I click here on settings, some basic details there, and that's it. Simple as that. Now, if I rename the device, we can call it Shed. Okay, and I'll unmute the Alexa. Okay, and if I now say, turn on Shed. Okay. Turn off Shed. Okay. There you go, simple as that. Okay, so an interesting thing to demonstrate now is the fact that on the Amazon Alexa app, you only have one button, but you can control the individual switches using voice control. So if I say, turn on switch one. Okay. Turn off switch one. Okay. Turn on switch two. Okay. Turn on switch three. Okay. Turn on switch seven. Okay. There you go. Simple as that. So not actually that bad. The fact you've only got the button on the app to control the whole device, you can still voice control all the switches on this. So excellent functionality there. Okay, so next, let me show how to set up this smart power strip to work with the Google Home. So if I click on the Home app here, next we click down here, go to Settings, Assistant, and Home Control. Next we click on the plus symbol here, and we look for Smart Life, just search for it like this. And there you go, it's that one there. So I've selected it, Okay, so like with the Amazon Alexa, you need to enter in your Smart Life account details. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my account details. Let me click link now. Okay, and then like before, just select Smart Life and link now. And there you go, just need to allow it to be authorized to access it. Give it a moment. Okay, the account successfully linked, so let's go back. Okay, so let's see if we can find the device now, and I'm pretty sure it's this one at the side, so I've got another power strip as well. If I click there, there you go, it turns on, turns off. Now, again, like with the Amazon Alexa, quite disappointing, you only see one button, so you can't individually control the buttons there. So disappointing to see that. It should actually have individual ones to give that extra functionality. So as before, let's rename this to Shed. Okay, as simple as that. And if I unmute the Google Home, the microphone is back on. We can say, turn on Shed. Sure, turning on the Shed. Turn off Shed. Alright. Okay, so just like the Amazon Alexa, even though the buttons aren't available for the individual switches on the actual Google Home app, you can control the switches via voice commands. So I can say, turn on switch one. Okay, turning on switch one. Turn on switch two. Okay, turning switch two on. Turn off switch seven. Sure, turning switch 7 off. We'll turn off switch 3. OK, turning switch 3 off. There you go. Simple as that. Works really well. OK, so I've actually set up the smart power strip with six USB devices connected. So I've got two tablets, four phones, and I've got the lamp plugged in via the socket. So quite interesting, the fact that it can charge six devices at the same time. And one of the devices I've connected via this USB meter. So it actually tells you the actual current coming from there. So if I click here now, it will just turn on the USB element. And this is connected to the OnePlus, which is here. Just shows you the current. So I'm getting 
around 0.32 amps as it's showing there and it is fluctuating a little bit okay 2.9 on there okay and if I click here it turns it off again and the good thing about using a smart power strip like this is the fact that you can set it on timer so you don't have to leave all your devices charging all night if you wanted so if for instance you know everything will be charged say by midnight you just set a schedule on there to turn off at midnight and it's as simple as that and obviously you've got the override button here so you don't have to use your phone if I click that turns everything on click it again turns everything off so excellent functionality here and this would be quite useful in the situation where you go on holiday so if you had a travel adapter plugged into the uh, plug over here you could just plug all your devices into this and just charge everything up no messing around looking for separate plugs and travel adapters just take this one device and you're sorted okay so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this smart power strip Excellent bit of tech here, I have to admit. Very simple to set up and use. Can be controlled remotely as well. In terms of functionality, you've got three sockets on there and six USB charge points. So excellent. Only disappointment was you couldn't individually control the USB charge points, but that's not a really a biggie. You can control it via the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home. And I think it would be a great device to take on holiday if you had a lot of devices to charge you could pair it up with something like this, a travel adapter. So you just plug the actual main plug into your travel adapter and then obviously charge all your devices so you're not messing around with different travel adapters. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.